What's up guys? Before you guys exit out because you don't see my face, give me a second. I'm going to just put you guys a picture of me because I know some of you guys come here just to see my face. So there it is. I was actually very sick when I was recording this. Therefore, I did not record live. This is a post commentary and I'm going to try to make it as entertaining as possible. I was thinking about how I wanted to do this because I never did a post commentary before. And the way I thought about it was I always wanted to be an NBA announcer. Always. That's That's been my dream. Basically, I'm going to be taking over. TNT, ESPN, whatever you want to call it, and I'm taking over this prime time game, so let's get into it. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for tuning in on this beautiful Friday night. We have a great one for you guys. The hometown Brooklyn Nets are facing off against Romo's takeover in a very crucial second round matchup. Winner moves on. Romo starts us off with the tip, and let's see what he's going to do with it. LeBron moving down the paint and slams it right over Carl Anthony Towns. This game is very slow paced to start off and KD touches the ball for the first time. His first shot is no good. We gotta see if he could figure out how to work in this new system. It's his first day in this... Ooh, look at DeRozan reading the passing lane very well. Out to Francis, whose head is up and he sees the C's part. Look at the athlete fly. You can expect to see Francis holding the ball most of the game. He is the primary decision maker. Out to KD with the beautiful stroke. Look at KD, first basket in the Nets uniform. Francis looks up and sees KD for another one. Can he hit back-to-back -back threes for KD? I think this is going to be a perfect fit. I am not too sure why they are doubling Cousins, but that leaves Westbrook wide open for an easy three. He's not going to hesitate. Not too sure what the Nets were thinking there. But let's see what they can do on offense. Their offense has been stagnant. There has been no real flow, no rhythm, and I'm not too sure what they're doing. KD does cut and he sees him for an easy two points. LeBron draws a foul and heads over to the free throw line. Let's start talking about how LeBron's been working on his free throws. And ooh, I, I think I spoke too soon. Did you guys just see that? Is there is there a draft in the building? How is he breaking these free throws? Out for a three. And ooh, the Nets catch another break. That was that was a break right there. That should have been a three going the other way. And they catch another break. This is unreal. The flow of the offense has been great for both teams so far. And look at that little brush screen. Jose Calderon. 4-3. Hand down. Man down. This team has very patient offense. And Curry just went on skates as Calderon drains another 3. He's waiting on the pick. The pick comes to him as he drives. And Durant says, get that out of here. None of that weak stuff. Curry moving up the ball, throws up an alley, and that's a turnover that may come back to haunt them. You can't be careless with the ball. That's just fundamentals. And Calderon for three once again. Someone please guard that man. This game has been very back and forth, and these free throws are going to come back to haunt this team. I've been saying that from the beginning. They can't seem to hit one. As this team, Romo, has been draining threes left and right. This is going to get ugly real quick, folks. The ball has been kicked out to Oakley running the break. And oh, get up, little fella. He just posterized and almost got the steal. That, was, well, that would have been a crazy sequence of events for Oakley. Oakley has been doing really well. And look at Westbrook. Look at Westbrook go to work. Westbrook's go to work on Carl Anthony Towns. Sit down. Westbrook seems to be getting a groove going. He feels very confident with the ball. And then look at him drive to the rim with the authority. He hates the rim. What's Westbrook going to do off the pick this time? Harden playing defense. Who said he can? There's a three on one going the other way. Carl Anthony Downs for an easy slam. There's only 6.8 left on the clock. Brooklyn has made a seven point lead. And let's see what they could do. Quinton Richardson for a contested three at the buzzer. Cut it down to four. What a sequence of events. Great way to end the game. And that might be some momentum leading into halftime. We are picking up the third right where we left off. Look at Romo. Shooting more threes. Because that's what the team does. They're a three point barrage. And I don't know what Steph Curry was doing on that one. He just had a wide open lane. And decided not to take it. There, this lead is not safe at all as LeBron misses a freebie, a free layup. He bullied all the way down and just couldn't do anything with it. Quinton for a deep range dagger. Look at that shot. They have to buckle down and find an answer for Westbrook because he is picking the team apart as Cousins in the corner 4-3. Everyone is draining him. 
Brooklyn is running on the fast break. Curry has the ball, and he throws up a really lazy pass. I don't know what this team is thinking right now. Brooklyn is on a scoring drought. They have not scored in two minutes, and just like that, it's a 14-0 run. They finally decide to call the timeout, and they need a miracle. They need to buckle down and talk this over, or this game is over. Paul George sees an opening baseline and takes it to the rim. That's why they should have called that timeout sooner. And if they don't get back on defense, this game is over. Steve Francis says, I'm here. If you are just tuning in with us now, you are here at a great timing. The fourth quarter is about to be underway and we are in for a great treat. Both teams do not want to be eliminated, so be ready for a finish. If Brooklyn plans to get back in this game, they got to do something quick. And just like that, attacking the basket, Oakley strong, that's what you got to do. Consecutive stops for Brooklyn, and Francis brings up the ball. He sees Carl in the middle, and one for Carl Anthony Towns. I see a comeback in the making. To be honest, I forgot Curry was even in this game. And just when I say that, he pulls up for three and makes it. Curry's got to make an impact now. LeBron puts his back to the basket and attacks the rim for an easy layup, cutting it to three. Three-point game with two minutes left. And just when I say that, they pull another three to make it six. This game is far from over. Brooklyn just has to find something, find some momentum. Pulling closer as Curry cuts it down to three with the long-range bomb. And now they just got to play some defense. It's all going to come down to defense. And look at that loose ball. Who wants it more? Curry dives, gets the steal, gets the timeout, and that's going to be your play if this team comes back to win it. That's the play we will be talking about. This is a crucial play coming out of the timeout. Let's see what they drew up here. Great play to Oakley. Oakley with the miss. He could have been a little more patient on that one. I don't know why he went off fast. Thankfully, Brooklyn does get back, though. Russell Westbrook looks up and sees the clock, attacks the rim, and throws the hammer down. This guy hates the rim. Something about the rim pisses him off. I'm not sure what it is, but he hates it. And Francis comes back, goes up, and Cousins says, not today, not in my house. And oh my, oh my, that could be the dagger. That is the dagger indeed. I believe this game is over, guys. Kawhi Leonard finds himself wide open, misses it, but Carl is there, Carl is there, and one for Carl Anthony Towns. This team will not go away without a fight, and this is honestly a lesson for you guys out there, as this team cuts it down to two. If there is a will, there is a way. When there is time left, never give up, and you can do anything. Brooklyn had a foul to give, and let's see what they decide now. I think they're going for a steal, but they're not really doing a good job. They might have to foul it quickly. Time is getting off the clock and Steph finally grabs him. That's not the guy you want to foul. But hopefully he misses one. And just like that, he does. You never know what could be possible in this game. He's been hitting threes all game, but finally misses a free throw. Brooklyn calls a timeout. I think everybody watching at home and everybody in the crowd knows where this ball is going. Straight to Steph Curry. Let him go to work. But no, they're going for a quick two. I don't even know if that was... What is going on? They just lost the ball, got it back, and this play is broken up. This play is over. Cousins with the steal. Good game. That is all she wrote, ladies and gentlemen. No matter what team you were rooting for, you cannot say you were not entertained tonight. They both gave us a great battle, great show. And let's see what the coaches gotta say after this one. I'm honestly not even upset after that loss, man. We lost to a great opponent and a great team. Romo's takeover. My boy really took over. He did. And uh, I couldn't do anything about it, man. I couldn't stop him. We'll have to watch footage and be better for the next time. But yo, guys, go ahead. Check out his channel. His link in the description. Best of luck in the rest of the tournament. I'll see you guys later. Balling out.